Uh, I'm not sure now. Uh, things happen very quickly now. It took me 18 years to do that, and Kenny Roberts did it in one year or so. <laughs> Kenny Roberts, you, you can ask Dick who was the greatest all-around motorcycle racer. He says Kenny Roberts, but you ask Kenny Roberts, and Kenny will tell you that Dick Mann was yeah. the greatest. Yeah. Carl Frank, is the greatest motorcycle racer ever. And I can tell you, just look at all the things involved in motorcycle racing. And this is the number one guy. So I believe Roberts. It's not that I disbelieve you, but I believe Roberts. I can't believe it when you said it. Kenny never won Wilsonville. Kenny never won any kind of any kind of like long distance off road. That's right. Did you did you win Wilsonville? Uh, not in modern times. <laughs> <laughs> well, look around this room, will you? There aren't many of us that live in modern times. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Very good point that you make. How did you, whatever made you, you rode six days once. What made you want to turn this into the, the prestigious event that it is today? Well, when I was a young boy, I read uh, as much as I could the international and the British magazines. Uh, it seemed like American racing was maybe too close to me. I, w I, w I was interested in it, but my dreams were across the ocean, I guess. And I always read about the six days and thought, boy, what a really neat event. Even before we were sending many riders over there. And uh, my whole career in racing, I was never able to compete in the six days because our racing season ran clear to the end in September and October when the uh, six days was. So by the time I got around to write the six days, there wasn't much much left of me. American dirt track racing was as stupid as a bench you can enter, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but, but I was able to go and uh, see a few of the six days and be helping the pits and take a look at them. And actually doing the thing, I realized that, you know, this is probably a segment of motorcycling sport that takes more talent, more ability, more determination, and gets no press. Once a year, the big slick magazines will give it two or three pages, and that's about it. And it's virtually, in the general public, it's almost unknown, and certainly nobody really knows what it's all about. And uh, I just thought, uh, as long as we're, we're trying to preserve uh, motorsport racing uh, from the era, from the 50s on, the last thing I got around to doing was to talk to Leroy after he retired and actually putting an event on it. And uh, I just thought this was a sport that needed to be uh, a little more publicized. I realized it never will be, and I thought, if we can't publicize the era that we raced in and take care of that era for the future, who's going to do it except us? And we're doing it. This is us. One final question. <laughs> road racing and dirt track racing and off-road racing, where would you have liked to have spent your career? You mean in a dream or action? Dream world. Dream world. I always dreamed I'd be a motocross rider, but I'm, well, I realized I'd have never made it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs>